things just don't work. Uh, mistakes were made. Hmm. Oh well, life goes on. Hey, uh, I built this, I started building this guitar probably, I'm gonna say, seven or eight years ago. It was my uh, very first set neck. That means it's, uh, the neck isn't bolted on. It's actually, uh, the, it's actually glued into place. So there's no real, there's no real um, adjusting it. So what has happened is it's not right. The, um, the angle of the dangle, the angle from here to here isn't right. This Floyd Rose sits up much too high. Um, there's actually a bump right here in the neck. And again, mistakes were made and I'm learning. Uh, so uh, what needs to happen, honestly, the fretboard needs to come off. The uh, neck needs to be leveled. The fretboard needs to go back on. Um, so I'll probably just do a whole new fretboard for it. I do like the, the fretboard that's on it because it's, uh, it's a beautiful piece of rosewood. So I'll see what I can do with that, but um, we're gonna have to put this project on hold. Again, mistakes were made, and it, sometimes things happen, man, it's life. So uh, not not uh, freaking out about it, a little bummed. I uh, was hoping to just fire this thing up and play it. It, uh, it does sound good, but uh, let's make it right. So we're gonna move on to another project. All right, we're gonna go ahead and shift gears here. We're gonna start working on the Trillium one because I really don't um, don't feel like dealing with the um, with the setup on the other one. It's going to be intensive. I know you guys are like, come on, dude, just finish it. Uh, but I have to pull it. I looked at it. Yeah, I just got to pull the fretboard off. So it is what it is. Got to go all Dan or a wine on it and make it right. Let's make it right. So um, this one is the Trillium. It is a three piece uh, redwood. 4A flamed, and when I say 4A flamed, this stuff is gorgeous, especially once it gets uh, once it gets a finish on it. Um, 4A finish with the brass uh, brass inserts, kind of a I don't know, just the artsy thing that I came up with, and it ends up looking really cool. So I've got enough to do two of these. I have another chunk of this redwood right here. I'm going to make another one, and on the second one, once I get this one nailed down and figured out, um, the second one we're going to embellish with carving because I love to carve. So we'll, we'll carve, we'll do this one really straight, clean, and simple, and then the next one we're going to carve it up and make it beautiful. So what I've done today, this morning, while you weren't here, where were you, man? When you sleeping in, what's up? Uh, what we're going to do, I sanded all these to perfection. There is not, literally not a scratch or bump or bang in this. We're going to stain these black, just like we did with the other one. Um, what happens when you stain this maple black is um, is it gets into the into the medullary rays. Ooh, fancy word. These are that's tubes. Uh, wood is basically made up of tubes, and it gets into the medullary rays, and it stays in there. And then you sand the black off. And it makes these tiger stripes stick out really, really, really good. So we are going to stain these black. Both of these. Pull this piece off too. We're going to stain both of these pieces black. Then sand it off. And then we are going to uh, stain them dark brown. Sand that off. And then we are going to go with a lighter brown. Sand that off. And then we are going to hit it with amber. And you watch how these turn out. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. So um, we're going to do that today. And we are going to... Um, I got some... Some scratches on this this uh, redwood is very very soft but like the other one we put Rubio monocoat on it and that's for a hardwood flooring and it it dries really hard so this thing's gonna be super light super resonant super beautiful and uh, let's go ahead and stain our pieces this next montage before I roll into it I have to precursor it with uh, <laughs> I work with stain a lot, a lot, a lot. And I'm always got like blue fingers or green fingers. You know, it, every once in a while when I go away for the weekend, um, I'll have clean, clear hands and I, I gotta like that, but it, it comes part and parcel. So I use um, I use gloves. I use rubber gloves. Um, they're from Lowe's. They're the spider ones with the spider on them. Um, I can't remember the name of them. But anyway, they're the ones I like. And I don't have any. And um, I just ran out and I'm going to stain this thing black. And so um, I just started singing glove songs. Oh, gloves. What am I without you? Glove, glove. Gloves. Hold up my hand and I touch. Gloves. I never knew there was so much. Gloves. Keeping me warm night and day. 
can't help falling in love with you. You are the love of my life. You are my inspiration. Happy and free. Get in it. Get, well, yeah, I don't know. With every sight and every sound, glove is in the air. down inside, you need it. Glove. Want a whole lot of gloves, do 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 do. Want a whole lot of gloves, do 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 do. Glove issue. I look everywhere for gloves. I can't find any gloves. So I'm down to I'm down to this because I don't want to dye my fingers black. So this is <laughs> That's all I got, man. Go with what you got. Uh, handy dandy uh, black dye. I, I got these at the 99 cent store and mixed up my uh, mixed up my stuff. And I knew it was gonna do that. You're a dork. Don't worry, I'll clean that up later. So just again, straight pure black dye. You're thinking, oh no, you're ruining that foray maple. No, what we're doing is we're bringing that beautiful grain out and it, it's just inevitable that I dye my stupid fingers black. I don't wanna dye my fingers black. I hate black fingers. Eh, by the time I'm done, I'll look like one of those prison guys that smoke cigarettes with the, yeah, whatever. Small price to pay for such a beautiful, beautiful, oh, see that? See how it's getting into those, what's the word? Say it with me, medullary rays. Cool. All right, that one's done. Let's do this one. Now I got a puddle here. I might as well just keep with my little puddle area and clean it up when I'm done. Yes, you need to go in a clockwise circular motion to keep the chi from it. Um, well, I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. I, uh, uh yeah, very, uh, uh-huh. Yeah. You got to go left-handed to make sure that it's, what? No, just thoroughly saturate. Doesn't have to be uber perfect, but I like uber perfect. But uh, it doesn't have to be over perfect as long as it's all done evenly because we're just going to sand it off in a minute. And if I run in the house real quick and wash my hands, perhaps I won't have that all day. I doubt it, but I'll try. Okay. Oh, and this is alcohol dye, alcohol-based. Um, it's a powder dye, Keda, K-E-D-A, Keda dye is what I'm using. And so let's go wash our hands. Ew, ew, look at that. Me gloves, gloves. Say you don't need no diamond rings and I'll be satisfied. Tell me that you want them kind of things the money just can't buy. I don't care too much for money. Money can't buy me gloves. Wait, yes it can. I just gotta go to the store and buy some. Huh. Can't find my glove. I'm gonna fill the world with silly glove songs. What's wrong with that? I'd like to know. Cause here I go again. I glove you. I got the glove machine. And I don't work for nobody but you. Oh yeah, a hug and kiss and thing. Yeah, I'm just a glove machine. I had uh, picked this neck out because it was flamey maple, flapel, flamey maple, but I'm thinking it's kind of overdue because I also have a 4A flame fretboard. So we're going to switch it up and I think we'll go with walnut. I think walnut will work here. Cool. What I'm thinking is we probably need to finish this the same way we're finishing this. So I'll have to write everything down so I remember the recipe so they match. Because when we do this, it will be later in the game, I will have radiused and pressed frets in. So uh, just before we press frets in, then we'll put the color on it. Cool. Thank you. So here's our walnut. Give it a little better contrast, especially with that. Yeah, that'll look really sharp. Especially with that, uh, that flamey maple thing going on. So cool. There we go. Walnut. Some of the scratches on the top of this. This is a... Uh, Lowe's gator thing. These are my ultimate favorite. 
uh, because you can get in all the nuts and nuggies, but they're hard to find now because of, I think, COVID shipping. I don't know, but I have a ton of these, and when I have to, I just cut uh, more sandpaper for them. But this one is the big brother of it, and what I like about it is it keeps things flat because when you sand with your hands, it usually puts grooves in. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, wow. It puts grooves in, and we want the top of this thing flat. So... This is how we're taking the scratches out. We are going to use this dude. The dudeness of dude. Always sand with the grain, unless you can't sand with the grain. And if you can't sand with the grain, you probably shouldn't sand. Oh, I don't know how that works. There's, it's that whole never, never say never thing. So yeah, always sand with the grain. And just, wow, such beautiful redwood. This stuff is gorgeous. These bad boys are now dry. Pretty cool, man. Even just pure black would look cool. But we're not going for pure, pure black. We're looking for more of a uh, tiger eye. Stainy stain tiger eye is what we're looking for. I'm going to need some sandpaper if we're going to sand this thing off. So give me a second. I'm going to go with some 320 here. Um, man, I'm selling a lot of stuff without uh, doing ads. Uh, this is uh, 3M Cubitron 320. Find it at Hope Depot. It's the purple stuff. It's got a tacky back. Uh, that's why I like it because um, you don't have to um, hold on to it very hard. And it's a very good sandpaper. Now what we're looking for here is an even sand away so see the white stripe i'm now gonna stay away from that white stripe until i get all of it get it where you can see it there we go because what we want to do is we want to leave it in the medullary rays and it's really crazy how it works um do i have anything that's like that here i'm this is a little bit like it I'm really dusty Oh man, I don't have a rag either. But uh, in this one, you can see how the dark is darker and the light is lighter. You're a genius. He's a genius he is. Just, the dark is darker and the light is lighter. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So I'm gonna sand this until uh, until the wheels fall off, and then I'll show you because it's gonna look uh, gonna look all zebra-like. <laughs> out uh, pretty even uh, one way to check a uh, old trick I learned is a little denatured alcohol and we just take our dude right here and go like that and see how even we are see how beautiful that pops Wow now look at them stripes huh cool it dries really fast but it uh, it, it does two things. It, it blends a little, it blends and melts and blends a little bit, but it'll also show me if there's any dark spots on here. That's what I'm looking for. Dark spots and I don't see any and I like it. I like it a lot. A little bit more. I'll give you, I'll give you a really quick whiz bang whiz and see it dries off so quickly. But see the dork. See the uh, tiger strapage in there? Pretty cool. Just an honest uh, safety tip. Uh, this is now has denatured alcohol in it, which is also a fuel, which means it burns. Don't throw it in the trash. Soak it with water and let it sit, hang out where it can't burn anything. And definitely don't throw it in the trash and leave it overnight. Um, I've had uh, Old Masters, it's a really good stain, but I've actually had Old Masters rags and it says right on the top of the sticker, caution, combustible. And when they say that, they mean it. So be smart, don't burn your shop down. The glove you take is equal to the gloves that you make. Oh.